Hochtouren zeichnen sie ein. The main feature of high alpine touring is that you have this variety of high altitude zones in the Alps, in the mountains. And for us, the highest altitude zones are always the glaciers. But on a glacier, there are also crevasses. And for that reason, it's essential to be tied into a rope. When roping up as a member of a glacier rope team, you cannot tie in directly because you may have to unclip quickly from the rope to initiate rescue measures. So instead, we tie in using a locking carabiner and a small figure eight loop. When high alpine touring, it's best to put your harness on before you leave the cabin, or at the very latest, before reaching the glacier. When roped up on a glacier, it is essential to observe rope discipline. This means maintaining a regular distance between each member of the team. The rope should be fairly taut at all times, so that if someone should fall into a crevasse, there won't be too much slack to absorb. The fall victim will be held immediately. This applies in particular when the ascent is complex. So when you're near crevasses, you should always ensure that the rope is reasonably taut. A good number for a rope team is three to five people. If the number is higher than this, the team's progress becomes very slow. On the other hand, if there are fewer than three people, it becomes dangerous because it is very difficult for a two-man team to hold a fall into a crevasse. It will also be difficult to hold a fall if there is a significant weight difference between climbers on steep terrain when the ground underfoot is hard or if there is slack rope between team members. When you are touring in the mountains as part of a rope team, the distance between members should be such that the braking force is high enough to withstand any fall into a crevasse. This distance will vary depending upon the size of the rope team. In large rope teams, those with four, five, six, seven, or eight members, the distance between climbers should be eight meters. In smaller rope teams of three members, the distance should be at least 10 meters. In a rope team of two, the distance must be at least 15 to 18 meters. Ideally, it should be even longer than this, but then the problem is that there is not enough spare rope for crevasse rescue. In smaller rope teams, teams of two certainly, but also teams of three, it is advisable to tie brake knots in the rope. There should always be three brake knots between individual climbers. Of course, this also depends upon the tour and the conditions. When climbing in a rope team of two or three people, it is essential that you tie brake knots in the rope to absorb the impact force better if someone falls into a crevasse. These brake knots should be tied in the middle third of the rope length, not too close to the first member of the rope team, nor to the second or third, because the rope first needs to dig into the snow. The brake knot will then act as a chalk in the groove cut by the rope into the fern. The recommended knot used is the overhand knot. This is a common knot used frequently in mountaineering. Alternatively, you could use a butterfly knot or double overhand knot. In order to ensure an equal distance between rope team members, use what is known as the accordion method to rope up. To do this, first lay the rope on the ground. Then, for a three-man team, for example, the person in the middle picks up the two ends of the rope and clips the middle of the rope into the carabiner in his harness. The two partners then clip loosely into the two resulting loops using a carabiner and walk away from each other until they are equal rope lengths apart. There are now four rope lengths, all of equal length, two between the three members of the rope team and two spare lengths which the first and third team members stow in their backpacks. Ideally, you should tie in using a screw gate carabiner or three-way locking carabiner and figure eight loop. With smaller rope teams, there will naturally be spare rope. With a three-man team, this can either be carried by the first or last member of the team, or it is carried by the person with the greatest knowledge of rope technique. So if someone falls into a crevasse, it is readily available and a crevasse rescue can be launched immediately. Technik übergehen.